Good morning. I'm Kevin Torgerson with the Olmsted County Sheriff's Office. Today is a historic event. It's a big day here in Olmsted County and Southeast Minnesota and certainly the city of Rochester uh, as we welcome the President of the United States. Uh, as you get ready and you get moving this morning, I want you to remind, remind you one more time that there could be traffic delays today. There's going to be a lot of people in town that come just associated to the President's arrival, uh, support, the media, uh, people that are coming from out of town to be at the event or just be around or near the event. Uh, so as you're going about your day today, expect that. Um, plan around those things. Uh, you have a pretty good idea that the downtown area near Mayo Civic Center, uh, streets are going to be blocked and there will definitely be a need for you to, to plan a way around them. Uh, as you go about your day and if you're planning to come to the event downtown, uh, there's a great opportunity to park in the west lot of RCTC um, out at the college. And the city has done a wonderful gesture in, in this and allowing people to ride all day long on uh, public transportation free from 5.30 to 10.30 p.m., 5.30 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. So uh, take advantage of that. You know, parking ramps and, and such near and around the Mayo Civic Center are, are going to be busy, going to be full. There's going to be a lot of people walking around. So uh, please take advantage of those opportunities. They're going to run you right from the college, right to the corner of 4th Avenue and, or 4th Street and 3rd Avenue by the Government Center, and you'll be a block from the Mayo Civic Center to get where you want to go. And they're going to keep running again, as I said, till 10.30 p.m. to get you back out to your car at the college. So please take advantage of that. And for the rest of us, uh, you have differing opinions on uh, what this is about and why the president would be here. And if you're of a different party or a different belief and you have strong feelings one side or the other, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. We appreciate that. And that's what makes this country work. But let's be respectful of each other. Let's be polite with each other's uh, opinions. Uh, we can do this. That's what we here in Minnesota, in Southeast Minnesota, Olmsted County, and Rochester, that's what we do. Uh, we can show the world that we can have a big event like this, welcome the world to our little part of the world, and still present a, a very positive image and uh, listen to each other's opinions and hear each other's opinions, understand our opinions, agree that we're different, agree that we may disagree, and yet we can move on. So I, I take this opportunity to, to share that, those thoughts with you. Number one, expect delays, plan for them, don't be discouraged by them. They're, not, they're really only gonna be temporary, whether it's a, a protest route, whether it's a uh, transportation for the president to and from the Mayo Civic Center, um, whatever it may be, understand that there's going to be a, a lot of congestion in around the downtown this afternoon and this evening. And if you don't want to be a part of it, then try to avoid it and do the best you can and, and accept it. There's nothing we can do about it at this point. Uh, we just need to accept it, understand uh, it's only temporary, and uh, we'll get through this thing together. So thank you for understanding. Thank you for sharing this so that people We'll get a better feeling as to what's going on and uh, we'll, we'll put out a, a good face here for, for us and, and, and show the world that uh, we can do this right. So thank you and have a great day.